you can take up, you are the whole world of tricks and wave sailing opens up. And it's this switch foot blue first position. So you imagine I've just been jiving round. As I open up, my hips are going to come through, but my upper body is going to turn to face the ring. So you've got this corkscrew thing happening at the waist. A little bit further forward, just want to lean. But that's the position you want to be coming in at. So just watch it again from here. As you open up, you're moving away from the ring to there. And then in that position, if your hips are in the inside, the foot change is so easy. It's bang, bang, release. And when you release, you're completely outboard away from the rig and still carving. Then you can do your foot change. Now the difference is what you see a lot of people doing, is they get to the nice bit and they've done their carve and then to finish the foot and rig change, they just stand up and do it from here. And then that's what happens. Then it's all over the downward side. The feet are the wrong side of the board. Everything's on the toe. So instead, just watch again. And here, as you come out, you're looking to put your hips to the inside of the circle, let them flow across the board, and so the front foot's barely got any weight on it, to there. And then once you're in that position, that front foot can just pivot out. And what you're trying to do is carve off the heels there. So as soon as you let go, you're sinking on those heels and the board's coming around. I'm right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the other thing where you'll see people doing straight away is once they see that rig they go gosh and then it's all over because they can't get to the new side it has to happen with a straight arm there and then you see how easy it is to bring your new hand up to the boom and sail away so you're not making any adjustments this is something you can just practice in the, the privacy of your backyard <laughs> you might get a few calls from the neighbors but it's just how you change your rig from the clue first position and what's going to happen as it swings round, especially with big rigs today, when the rig swings round, it's going to pull the weight onto your back foot because it's a big old thing and a big pivot. And so this is what tends to happen, you know, people get to here and as they start to change it, that'll happen. And then the mast in the way and they have to grab something and it's going to be a touch and go whether they make it. So the whole thing about the rig change is about making room. So once you've done that clue first moment, you're extending away from the rig. The rig's going to swing that way if you go that way. Because I let go now, let it go on a straight arm and move the hips forward. And don't be worried about the rig, it's going to stop. Once it gets downwind, it just stops. And then you're in perfect position to flick it now. Just one good thing, if you're watching each other sail, when you see someone good doing a rig change, the moment they let go of it, you see their head there. So they've come forward in front of it. And now like a good bullfighter, they're just getting out of its way. The not so good guy, you'll hear a shriek, and they go, ah! <laughs> so just remember, as you're coming around, whatever the rig's doing, you're looking to move out of its way. So you're looking out of the turn, let go, wait forward. And as you do that, you're waiting the heels there, so that's keeping the board coming round. And when it comes to sheeting in, you basically just put the hand there, and let that boom fall into it. If you keep turning, the rig will fall into your hands. And I think um, out of all those things there, the, the things that kind of really make a big difference, this whole concept of making room for yourself. And I suppose if I'm looking at the, the, the most common mistakes, is when people start jive, the first thing they do is close down the space. And that front hand comes in. And although they feel they're committing, what's actually going on is they're committing like this, and then the backside's going the other way, and then think, well, I like it here, I know this, this is close, <laughs> I've got the bar bar on the boom. Instead, what they okay. should be doing is saying, I want at the moment my hips to be right there. And the first thing they do is push that away so the hips can move into it. Now this is where my hips are going to be when I finish the turn. I've got to do is that, and I'm out. If you can get yourself into the position really early on, where you're going to finish the jive, that's it. So watch again. There, you've got space, you move into it, and then when you come to change, you've got all that room in the world. And I tell you, I mean, it, the whole of windsurfing technique could be summoned straight in your front arm. And that way, immediately, if you're trying to loop, you're trying to jive, you're trying to flare jive, you're trying to tack. Once you close down the space with that front arm, you've got nowhere to go. You just have to wear the ring and fall in with it. And it's actually quite hard to do, but you think what you're doing with the front arm, by extending it, you're sheeting in. Now this is, people forget when they start windsurfing, that is sheeting in, it's a pulling back motion. 
every day. But actually, that sheep in the group, that's a fact. If you can get used to controlling your whole power, going along, jiving, um, leaping, by doing that action, then you're much more controlled. Once you start pulling and pushing here, you tend to start wobbling at the waist. George, have you got any extra things that you can do? You can call more, George. They do things differently, though. Right? Um, I'd say in with this sort of stuff, for our centre down in Cornwall, a lot of guys come and go, well, I want to go car driving, but it's not windy enough. Just get out there in light winds. Like, the best way you can do it is do loads of light wind stuff as well. And really practice what Pete's been saying about punching away with your front arm and then just the rig flips and everything like that. And if you can do non-planing carb jobs just like that without having your eyes shut, then your actual planing carb jobs will become a whole lot better as well. So don't yeah. just rely on force four to five, which obviously we always get in the UK, so it's <laughs> it's absolutely right. And actually I think too, it's, um, we tend to think of car driving as purely a uh, technique, and a lot of it's tactic. I mean, like today, we have the classic just planing conditions at the moment, 14, 15 knots. What is your fastest point of sailing today? It is only, I'll give you a clue, just off the wind, maybe 10 degrees. You've got to be absolutely stacked with a 12.5 to, that's why formula boards as they are, massive amount of sail to keep you planing broader than that and these are the wind conditions. <laughs> so you know the conditions you want to go free riding with today might be sort of six, eight, seven. Once you bear away beyond 100 degrees you're slowing down. So the arc is absolutely crucial. You know so what you're trying to do on today's conditions is set up and as soon as you're into that jump, crank it around, get through that dead zone which is broad reach to broad reach. If you linger in there you're just going to unwind like a spring. Get through that, tighten the turn up get across the wind and power up again. Go to Baby Bay in Dar Harbour, 25 knots of wind and it's super smooth. You can start your jive on a broad reach and finish it on a broad reach. You've only got to jive 90 degrees and you're a hero. So that, that's the way that if you want to do your first one, is find that flat water and loads of wind. Because loads of wind means long arc, loads of power behind you. But the good jibes are ones that are, the good jibers that can always manipulate their arc, change their arc and tactics depending on the wind in front of them. And um, the other thing, if I can just sum up what we've done is that first bit about how to get going and set up for the jive from the unhook. To try and do everything without the board knowing. So it's first once again, it's from here, backhand, that little lift of the hips, the drop, and then forward, not cheating out and then back and settle and just get used to sailing out the harness on straight arms, not gripping the boom, the fingers just at the end of the fingertips. And that isn't tiring. That's tiring. That isn't tiring. And just hang down and think about just pulling that weight through the board. And then if then your first movement is that, then already that may be a first forward loop if you get it wrong, but it's going the right way. So your old self-analysis Remember you've got the three doors to go out of. Back door, side door, front door. Back door, you know what you've done. You need to go and drink more tequila, and then try and get on the front foot. The side door down here, that means generally you've just sheeted out. So rather than carve, all you've done is open the sail, and you'll follow it into the water like that. If you open the backhand out too soon, the back of the sail powers up and pulls you over. If you go out the front door, so you've got a well, you've done everything right, you just forgot to carve the board. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, it's actually been just simple things and all that, but still the best tip in carve jiving is keep constant pressure on the inside edge. And if you do that, if you, no matter what, what body part you use to do it, if you go along and just keep that 50 quid under the toes of the feet and don't let it go till the end, the board keeps going around. And everything else is details, but a lot of people get so melded up with the detail game. Yeah, mm. oh, yeah, I remember the other bit, you've got to carve the bullet. That is the thing you're trying to do. So if you think about doing that, a lot of things fall into place naturally if you're kind of a natural athlete and like to move between your feet. Um, it's a subject which you can go on for about 25 hours on easily. But um, what I thought, if you've got any questions, I'd be delighted to answer them. If they're too horrible, come and find me later behind the van. You're embarrassed about them, but if not, George and I can field any any problems. Uh, on the, the last bit, that my board goes straight up into wind and stalls. The last bit, the last bit. Straight up into wind and stalls. 
what will be happening there, Murray, is Murray to New Zealand, and they do it the other way around, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, lots to do. Look at the shape of the board back here. And it's so at the end of the toes, your head can drop back a little bit behind your feet, and you're doing any sort of the dive on the back foot when you've lost speed. And just that part of the board's in the water, you just turn off. So really, Murray, I think the thing to concentrate on if you are getting that over-rotation thing, it's first of all, slightly earlier foot on each side. The foot change, if you're doing a step jive, happens after two seconds. I mean, that is how quick it should be. And then the other bit there, Murray, what we're telling you to happen, I think if you do, if that front foot comes back to here, say, and you do that, that will sink it. So when the back foot comes out, I mean, so the front foot comes just behind those straps, and then that happens. Once you get weight on that front foot, and you put the rail in, it won't turn anymore. So that's the main thing, just getting that picture. Black, any, uh, any other horrible problems? Well, it's like great things on this race. We are having a camera on you. But, uh, we'll be here all day, so if you, if you fancy any more tips, do come and ask. Because the other guys are nearly as good. And uh, actually, no, they are very good indeed. On any of the um, abroad clinics and at home, I've just got a list of, uh, of clinic dates there. Help yourself and um, do come and find me after if you've got any questions. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.